Hi, for spring summer 24, we're updating our range of Kaikia trekking backpacks to be even better. Our Kaikia backpacks are known for their comfort and their durability. The Kaikias were launched in 2008, and in 2013, we updated with a well-known wooden frame. Now we're updating the Kaika, but something still remains the same. We still use our trustworthy Vinylon F as the main material, and of course, we're still using our wooden frame made of FSC certified wood. But of course, there's still a lot of changes been made, so we have updated the side pockets, the front opening, on the older carrying system, and of course, a lot of small details too. The all over focus of the redesign has been to increase the comfort, shed some weight, and of course, keep the durability and comfort that Kaika is so well known for. The Kaikas we're updating are the Kaika 55, 65, 75, 85, and 100. And previously, we also launched the Kaika 35, which is a smaller sibling in 2023. So, what size should you choose? It depends a bit on your needs, of course. Uh, maybe you choose the Kaike 55 if you're going backpacking when you want something more lighter and agile and smaller. And if you go uh, with your friends in the Scandinavian mountains, you might prefer the Kaike 75 as you have to pack more. And if you're really going soloing or more expedition-like uh, conditions, then the Kaike 100 or 85 is the one for you. So, what are the design differences in the different uh, models we have? So, the main difference is that the Kaike 55 doesn't have the lower compartment that the Kaike 65 and up to 100 have. Instead, we have this big front opening, zipped front opening, that uh, really makes it easy to pack the whole bag. You get a really good overview. And also, because we don't have the lower compartment, we don't have the internal divider that the larger packs have, we could save some weight. Uh, which makes uh, the KK55 a good option for, as I said before, backpacking. When we look at uh, larger packs, the KK65, 75, 85 and 100, uh, we have the lower compartment and we do have the internal uh, divider that help you separate you, uh, what you're packing inside. So you can divide maybe dry, uh, wet or dirty, clean or whatever you like. And you can, of course, you can open up the internal uh, divider. So now we talked about the uh, volume and the differences in the design. We're going to talk a bit about sizes. So about sizes. Kaikia comes in two sizes, the small medium and the medium large. The small medium has now narrow, more short shoulder straps that are better suited for the female body. It gives room for the bust and it's also generally suited for shorter people. The hip belt is adjustable, giving a wider range of the fit for smaller people up to a bit bigger people. And of course, on the medium large, the hip belt is a bigger circumference and fits larger people better. So, which one should you choose? The small medium is good up to 170 centimeters. And even though I am 180 centimeters, I can still wear the small medium, but the wider, longer shoulder straps are probably better fitted if you're above 170 centimeters. If you're a woman and you still feel that uh, you need to have room for the bust, I think you should try the small medium up till you are 180 centimeters. The Kaika 85 and Kaika 100 only comes in medium large as a large size and a big volume requires the wider shoulder straps to evenly distribute the weight. So when it comes to fitting your backpack, uh, it's the same system for Kaika 55 and up to 100. So it's the same basic uh, functions. So what you start with is that you put weight in your backpack when you try it out and fit it. It's important so everything settles on your body. Uh, so put four to five kilos uh, to get started. And then it's, uh, it's important to uh, loosen all the straps. So you open up and it buckles there, front sternum, top tension or low lifters. You have some tensions on the side of the hip belt, loosen those. Loosen up the shoulder straps so they're really loose. 
And then it comes to back length. Uh, you could measure the back length, but if you're on yourself, maybe it's good that you can uh, easily adjust it by not measuring. So it's hard to measure your own spine. You lift the back pad, you can put your fingers and then just lift it up. And then uh, I read the, the measurement on the scale here, on the lower part of the back pad. Uh, but let's just test now. Now the shoulder straps are really loose. Uh, don't worry about that. Focus first on the hip belt. So, I have a pretty good fit on the hip belt. Don't forget to tension the side. The hip belt should put all the weight on the hip belt, bone. Uh, this is important. You should carry at least like 60% of the weight of the backpack on your hip bones or the hips. But yeah, so because we have the adjustable hip belt on the Kaikia, uh, I could actually change the width of the hip belt or the size. And to really put the weight good on the hip bones, I could actually move it out a centimeter to really good to get that pressure on your hip bones. So I do that, I loosen the Velcro, there's a flap here, you slide it out, and on the inside, there's a scale. Just try to get it even. So you loosen and increase the size on both sides. Pull the tension again. So now I have a two centimeters larger hip belt. Now I had a good fitting hip belt. Now I try to uh, slightly pull the shoulder straps. I'm gonna attach the sternum strap. And top tension. Just slightly. And I don't have a good fit. It's way too high. I really, uh, I'm shorter than I think. So let's adjust it. And I think I think it was at least five centimeters too high. So using the scale, I lift the Velcro and I adjust five centimeters down to a bit more moderate, 48 centimeters, 49. Put it on again. And Of course, watch your backpack on the in the mirror when you try to, to um, fit it out. Close again. Now it feels better. To get a really good fit, the start of the shoulder strap in the back, the back pad, where it connects to the back pad of the shoulder strap, should be at the same height as the collarbone on the front. Uh, this is sure so that you get a good fit of the shoulder straps and it's right positioned. Uh, and also, the top tension webbing should stop at the top of the shoulder or a bit on the front. So, tighten the low lifters, not too tight because then you pull or compress your chest. So, just slightly, and now I have a good fitting Kaika backpack. We also have the possibility on the Kaika to adjust the shoulder strap uh, width. So there are three settings uh, on each side. The middle one is the one that by far the most people will use. From uh, broad shoulder people to smaller, uh, thinner shoulder people. And, but if you really you feel that you are a really big guy or woman, you can choose to move out on the setting. You do this by uh, unthreading the webbing and moving the whole thing out and re-threading uh, on this loop.
if you are shorter or if you're using one of our uh, larger Kaike backpacks like the Kaike 85-100, uh, there is a possibility to re-thread the top tension of the load lifters. There's loops in these spots where you can re-thread the tension webbing. You do this by opening the frame buttons here and you press down the whole thing and the frame will pop out. You take the frame out, you unthread the webbing in the tension locks, thread it through this loop here and then you get a much lower top tension. So thank you for watching, see you out there and happy trekking.